Hey, what's up, guys? It's Lobo here. Welcome back to the channel, man. The Season 3 Reloaded update broke Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone, the worst it's ever been, dude. The worst it's ever been, okay? And it's absolutely ridiculous how a multi-billion company cannot seem to figure out how to code, how to polish, how to test the servers, the game, before an update comes out, bro. But before we get into it, if you haven't yet, drop a like and subscribe, especially if you guys are new. We post daily Call of Duty content. And if you guys want to support even more, join my Discord server down below. But let's start this video off with how and why, with every major update, with a new season update, with a new season reloaded update, with a huge, you know, plethora of changes and buffs and nerfs, with those kind of updates, things get somehow always broken and the game becomes unplayable, dude. Okay, listen, you want to know how this happens? Because they just hire the wrong people to test the game. They don't hire people that are actually good at the game. They don't hire people that know a lot about the game, that don't know a lot about the mechanics. They don't know what they're doing while testing, right? And also, the reason why the game becomes unplayable and things get broken, in the sense of being broken, not the actual weapons, but like literally, things just don't work, okay? And I'll get into that after this. This happens because they just can't code the game properly the game is just so complex there's so many things a part of the code that they probably either check it you know multiple times but it's just so much code that they can't you know figure out what the hell is going on right the reason why things get broken and unplayable is because the game just isn't polished it's just too complex dude i, don't, I just don't understand how you're making so much revenue so much profit and you don't even put money back into a dev team that could polish the game, test the game better, put it to its limits, test out for glitches, all that stuff. I don't know how Activision, Call of Duty, you know, the dev team just can't code it correctly, dude. I don't understand. I don't understand, dude, because the game is so complex. I understand that. But you guys are making so much money. Why don't you just invest the money to make the game better? I, I, I see them flexing their earnings in the quarterly reports. For their stock price and all that stuff for the company why why are we not putting in anything into call of duty man because if you actually play the game it's a shithole right now it's completely fucked bro it's unplayable i tried to record one video for three hours i was going to use advanced warfare weapons only to dry and drop a nuke or get a win in war zone but guess what guess what and what i'm going to be talking about next the horrible bugs and glitches across all game modes first off when the season launched it was 20 minutes behind for some players when it was 12 o'clock when you were able to update the game on steam and or ps5 right when you were able to update the game at 12 p.m eastern standard time or whatever 12 p.m eastern standard time is in other places right for pc and ps5 users the update came out at 12 20 12 30 and it didn't even stop there for the ps5 users if you were a PS5 player, let me know in the comments if you experienced this. If you went into multiplayer and or zombies, it would give you a dev error every time. And so you would were forced to literally search up and find a fix. And for everybody else, that wasn't even the worst things that we had to deal with after the update came out for Season 3 Reloaded. In Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer, Modern Warfare Zombies as well, and Warzone, you can't use tax sprint and reload at the same time it glitches out how the hell does this happen three and a half seasons in how how does it happen y'all didn't fuck it up for the last three seasons so why for season three reloaded how is it fucked up now did someone just delete a line of code and it just literally fucked everything then another broken thing in warzone is that the interact feature does not work i literally have it on prioritize interact right where i literally just have to press square i don't have to hold down square for reloading for picking up things for picking up a gas mask for picking up cash for picking up a chest or you know just opening up a chest i have to hold down square and press it twice dude the first time it doesn't click the second time i have to hold it down and then it finally does whatever it was supposed to do the function doesn't work activision fix it oh my god i'm, I'm uh, there's still more glitches out to go over there's an audio glitch watch this clip right here careful area is hot Where is the audio here, bro? Where? Where is the audio? I knew someone was coming because I heard it before. The reason I stopped? Because I couldn't hear him anymore. 
when he got closer to me. How does that work? If someone's way far from you, you should be you know, barely able to hear them. But if they're right next to you in the next door and they're coming closer, you should be able to hear them. I don't understand how I'm able to hear them further away than when he's closer to me. I don't get that. I don't fucking get that shit, man. So in Warzone, once again, another bug and glitch for Warzone. There were people putting nine fucking attachments on their guns. And it really didn't work well, thank God. They can't work now, thank God. They patched that. But they can't patch the bunch of other shit that's actually making the game unplayable. What the fuck you doing, bro? Shout out to Rick Cod, okay? Listen, that appear after a major update make no sense. Who the fuck polishes and tests this game out, bro? Because you ain't doing your job. I'll do the job for you. Hire me, Activision. I don't care if I gotta fly every goddamn week to wherever the headquarters is, California and shit. I'll fly over. I'll stay there. I'll live on the streets. And I'll test out and polish this fucking game for you guys. Because this is fucking ridiculous, bro. I, I, I can't record. I can't have fun of the game when I want to play with my cousins. I can't have fun playing with my friends, my online friends, my school friends. I can't have fun at all because this game is fucking glitched. It, it's so buggy. It's stupid. It's fucking stupid. So this, this is, I'm losing my fucking mind, bro. Because, dude, I'm so passionate. I love Call of Duty. And I, I just want to see the game thrive. I want to see players enjoying it. I don't want to go on Twitter or YouTube and see a plethora of videos and tweets shit talking the game, bro. I don't want to see any negativity around the game, bro. Because, dude, it's a good game this year. Okay? It's a good game this year. The devs, the Activision, Sledgehammer especially, Raven Software as well. But especially the devs should be getting their flowers. But when bullshit like this happens, it's, it's hard to give them their flowers, man. But another thing that they also fucked up was the patch notes. If you read the patch notes, Activision and Call of Duty, the people who made the changes, spread misinformation, bro. They spread misinformation. They gave out the wrong numbers, what the debuffs and buffs were to most weapons. I'll link a video down where this guy... I, don't, I forget his name right now, but this guy on the screen right now figured out that they literally mistyped, gave misinformation, and just gave the wrong stats to most weapons, and they just typed it out. This guy somehow figured out what an absolute legend. How the fuck do you fuck up the patch notes, bro? This is the most important shit before the update. They were fucking up before the update, guys. How is that possible? How? Bro, you guys need to polish and check on this shit before it goes live. In and out of the game, they are fucking up. In the game, I understand because that's a plethora of code to, to code in to understand and shit, right? But you guys can't type the right information correctly? What the fuck? Who's typing this shit? I'll fly out to wherever the headquarters are. I'll do that shit for free, bro. There were so many things that were wrong in those patch notes that I just did not understand. That I didn't, I didn't even know what the meta was, bro. And like, I, I do want to make another video about this, how Call of Duty has changed. But that, uh, what I'm going to say about that, that's for another video, okay? But the last thing I'm going to talk about, because I, I'm, I'm getting fucking pissed off. I'm getting sweaty, bro. Because I'm, I'm so loud. I'm so mad right now. I don't know how my dog's asleep. Shout out, honey. The server and pack of loss issues. How how did they mess up the servers? I, I don't know. Like, look at this footage right here. I would talk over it. Look at this fucking footage. I'm lagging and I have packet loss, bro. Usually, you know, I don't have packet loss issues. Like, I have never experienced packet loss in Modern Warfare 2 or 3. But yesterday and after the Season 3 Reloaded update. I experienced it four fucking times. Four fucking times, bro. I don't understand how. There's multiple people tweeting about it as well, and it's just ridiculous, bro. And the server as well. I don't know what the hell happened, but at one point, uh, maybe I have the footage still, but I may have deleted it. But at one point, I loaded up into a game, was the solo for it, died, left the game, and then when I loaded up for another Resurgence Quads game, I loaded up into the same game with teammates and it said that i redeployed what the fuck i swear to god i swear to god i know i might not have the footage for it killed like three people left the game after i died because the you know the, the packet loss then i left i loaded back into the game with no teammates again and when i got into the game it said ao limbo has returned and literally i had two teammates that were complete dog shit, dude. I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know what is going on with this game. I'm so pissed off. Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys agree with me in any, in anything that I said, please let me know in the comments. Let me know your experience with Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, multiplayer, zombies, and Warzone. 
after the season three reloaded update because this is this is getting ridiculous because they're getting fucking lazy over there and they're making so much money with these bundles, you know, all this shit. And they won't do anything with their actual fucking game. It's it's ridiculous, bro. I'm done. I'm out of here. Drop a like, subscribe, join the Discord server. But yeah.